Donald Trump may be a divisive figure in American politics, but outside the US, there seems to be mostly scorn and disapproval. Almost two million people worldwide have signed an open letter to Donald Trump written by the activist group Avaz, which reads in part, we reject your denigration of women, Muslims, Mexicans, and millions of others who don't look like you, talk like you, or pray to the same God as you. As citizens of the world, we stand united against your brand of division. By contrast, the Facebook page, International Support for Donald Trump, so far has 10 likes. Rickon Patel is the executive director of Avaz. He joins us now from New York. Rickon, thanks for coming in. Have you My ever pleasure. had this kind of international response before to, to a petition or to an open letter? What do you think is driving it? We've had levels of response on things like climate change, but, but this is definitely the very high end of engagement. And I think so the world's been listening to Donald Trump blare out a politics of demonization and division for months now. And I think there's a great desire to just answer back. Um, but it's more than just one person. You know, there's a, there's a Donald Trump in every country, on every, in every town. Uh, and that politics of demonization and division is tremendously dangerous to the world right now. And I think that's where the energy behind this letter is coming from. We want to stand up to it. We want to be able to counter it. Uh, that's that's, that's the, the drive of it. Okay, so you know, some people would say, isn't this just sort of feel-good clicktivism? Sign a petition, click a button, feel good, move on. Yeah, I, you know, every campaign we run has a specific campaign objective. This one is more subtle, so I can see how on the face of it, it could look like clicktivism. But it's broader than that, right? Because you've got millions of people engaging with this online. And, and it's being covered by major media, and we're having lots of interesting celebrities and people reach out, interested in, in signing it. And what that is, is a cultural moment. I mean, these, these are battles for hearts and minds between fear and hope, between demonization and division and community and connection. They're being fought all across the world, in Greece with Golden Dawn, in Germany with Pegida. And our ability to speak in this cultural moment and say, no, we're standing up to Trumpism. This man has become an ism now. We're standing up to it, and we're bringing fear to compassion. We're bringing understanding to ignorance. That's what this is about, and, and it's, it's fuzzy in terms of its impact, but I think these debates really matter culturally. Very quickly, are you concerned that maybe something like this could just simply be a red rag to a ball to Trump supporters? They don't have a lot of love for people from other countries. Also, maybe encouraging some Republican voters who are on the fence to you know, go towards Donald Trump. Yeah, I think it's more than just one election, really. It is about this broad cultural uh, tension happening in the world right now. I mean, climate change, Ebola, our world is so interdependent and so fragile. And if we give in to the Trumps in this world, we, we, it's a threat to our survival. I mean, this is being named as one of the big global threats right now by think tanks, by risk analysis firms. Uh, this kind of politics is incredibly dangerous. And so that's what I think this is about. I'm not sure how it might or might not impact the U.S. election. It's not really designed to do that. It's a much broader canvas that this is happening on. What, what, what about you know, an open letter to, to other leaders, you know, like Robert Mugabe of Zimbabwe or Kim Jong-un of you know, North Korea or you know, uh, Bashar al-Assad of Syria, Omar al-Bashir of Sudan, all of them brutal dictators, they would be considered to be far worse than Donald Trump. Oh, yeah. And, and I tell you, we've done so many campaigns to people like Omar al-Bashir of Sudan, where we've had, had his face in ads and we've been criticizing him directly. Um, you know, our community is 43 million people all over the planet who care about all these issues that all of us really care about, about the future of our children. I mean, this is where this is coming from. And so we're standing up to these threats, whether it's ISIS or Donald Trump, um, who are trying to demonize and divide us everywhere. Uh, that's the purpose of this kind of campaigning. Rick, and so good to speak with you. Thank you. Thank you so much, John.